63 miles, Angels 8. Friendly, Bra, 020, 78 miles, Angels 20. Welcome to event two of the Zone 5 campaign. Sniper 3, you will be with Raven in Outlaw 4-6, and after this briefing you can get together with him for details. After takeoff, you will fly the Dream 2 departure via the Elgin Corridor. Check in at Gate 4 and proceed to Point India. The route and waypoints are identified in your kneeboard cards. 
You and Raven will proceed to the range separately. Raven will enter from the western side of the range at Point Garth, and you will start with a radar intercept. This will be another 1v1 to hone your close-in maneuvering skills and employment of your F-14 weapon system in the WVR arena, but there are many differences from the previous event. Raven will be in an F-16, so you'll find these engagements more challenging than your first flight. He'll be carrying two AIM-9s and a gun. Your weapons today will be four AIM-9s and your Vulcan cannon. Any shots taken before the first merge will not be valid. You should be ready once you enter the range, but we need you to make a call of Sniper 3 ready. We want to get it on the tape for the debrief. After you call ready, Raven will call fights on. Showtime will provide control for the intercept and the start range is 20 miles. Raven will fly towards you at 23,000 feet. Forward quarter shots are allowed, but won't be counted as kills. It's up to you to arrive at the merge with desired airspeed and any angles you can get. Speed is life, as they say, but remember, too much can lead to large arcing turns in the maneuvering environment. So be sure you have what you want given the relative strengths of the F-14 and the F-16. Here are a few thoughts from the 1v1 lecture. You'll be required to assess the F-16's energy and threat continuously. If you're defensive, be prepared to perform a brake turn and reevaluate. Defensively, opposing the bandit's nose may also be effective. If you neutralize the threat, you may decide to separate and re-engage or bug out. In either case, acceleration and separation will occur much more rapidly if the aircraft is unloaded to zero to a half G. If you're offensive, you have to decide whether to go for a shot or be patient and work for the control zone. Broco. Switching to steer we point expect two. you to operate as a crew. Rios, of course, you'll be ready to operate the dogfight modes of the radar to tell your pilot airspeed and altitude and do whatever it takes to make your Tomcat more lethal. And Rios will also be called upon to debrief at least one engagement. After the knock it off for the first engagement, head toward Bighorn for one minute, then turn back inbound and call when ready for the second engagement. In future events, we'll have a scenario and you'll be assigned a fighter mission, but not this time. The purpose of this flight is to concentrate on your close-in maneuvering skills. When the event is complete, RTB the way you arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck out there. Showtime, Sniper 3 checking in as fracked. Sniper 3, Showtime, your pod is tracking. Proceed to India and call ready when able. Sniper 3 ready. Alpha 46 ready. Showtime copies all. Recorders on. Fight on. on. Wilco. He's locked. Target. 13 miles. Switching to PSTT. Target, four miles. Four twenty, I guess. Twelve o'clock.
5 o'clock. Okay, we're at 380. 330 knots. 12 o'clock low. Speed is 300. 12 o'clock low. 250 knots. 4 o'clock high. 210. 12 o'clock high. That's 160. We're super slow. 1 o'clock high. Ten o'clock. Bit slow. One sixty. Two hundo. Three o'clock low. Passing two fifty. Good flying. We're on a six. Two thirty. We're on a six. Okay, passing two seventy. Shoot him, shoot him! 320, sweet. There's uh, 360. On a six, go get him! 320. Fox two. Splash! Bandit is going down. Golf law, four six, knock it off. Back of three, knock it off. Sniper 3, head toward Big Horn for 60 seconds, then turn back toward India and call when ready. Roger, switching to initial point. Sniper 3, ready. Outlaw 46, ready. Showtime, copies all. Recorded. Let's do this. We have a bandit. 270, 10 miles. Roger that. I've got a lock. Switching to PSTT. Target, 6 miles. Speed 360. We're at 390. One o'clock. Six o'clock. 360 knots. Speed 330. Four o'clock. One o'clock. Two ninety. Wee. Two six zero knots. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock low. Speed is three ten. Flash. You're dead. Speed three sixty. The bandit is going down. Snap a three. Knock it off. Copy that. Switching to initial point. That's right. We nailed that SOB. Well, what did you think of your introduction to the F-16? I think you'll agree it's more challenging than the F-5. But you're here to improve your combat lethality, so a representative threat is important. As you mentally prepare for the debrief, did you have a game plan to counter the F-16's strengths? I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but if you defeated the F-16, you showed exceptional skill. 
In real combat, the best way for an F-14 to handle a bandit such as an F-16 is to kill it before the merge. More important than winning or losing, what are the lessons from this flight? Keep those in mind. Think about how you will pass them on to your squadron mates and think about what you will do the next time you find yourself engaged WVR with an F-16. Sniper 3, a beam, gear, full stop. Sniper 3, cleared to land, 2-1 left, wind is 190 at 8. Sniper 3, cleared to land, 2-1 left. Lock. Fly 
Lamps. Pull down. DLC. Engaged. Hook. Up. Harness locked. Locked. Speed brakes. Out. Brakes. Brakes checked. Accumulator pressure up. Spoiler brakes selected. Hundred feet. Three hundred. Two hundred. Two o'clock, one mile. Dallas Ground, Sniper 3, clear of active on Bravo. Sniper 3, Dallas Ground, taxi Bravo to Foxtrot. Taxi Bravo to Foxtrot, Sniper 3. 